that is it compulsory for a woman to cover her feet while offering salah as far as this question is concerned there is difference of opinion but the majority of the fuqaha the majority of the scholars they say that during salah it is compulsory for a woman to cover her feet and according to the shafi school of thought as well as the maliki school of thought and as well as the humbly school of thought most of the scholars in the humbly school of fiqh they say that covering the feet is compulsory based on the hadith of sunan abu daud volume number one hadith number 640 that umm salah uh, umm salma may allah be pleased with her she said that when she asks when she asked the prophet that can a woman wear only her khimar and her kameez and offer salah without wearing the izar so the prophet he replied khimar is head covering and kameez is a long dress so if a woman is only wearing the khimar and the kameez and not wearing the izar will a salah be accepted and the prophet replied that if the kameez is as long as till the top of the feet then the salah is accepted so based on this hadith the shafi school of thought the maliki school of thought as well as the humble school of thought the most of the scholars they say that covering of the feet is compulsory but according to the hanafi school of thought and as well as the view of sheikh ul sheikh ul islam ibn taymiyah as well as the view of muhammad saleh ibn utaymi may allah be pleased with them both may allah have mercy on them both their view is that it is not compulsory for the woman to cover the feet during salah and they say that this hadith of abu daud volume number one hadith number 640 of abu daud it's a daif hadith there are various other hadith talking about the same aspect that the prophet said that i mean that the, the same aspect that it is that the kameez should be up to the top of the feet but all these hadith they are not marfu they don't go up to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam all these hadith they are mauquf that means the sahaba they quoted umm salma radhiyallahu anha the wife of the prophet but no one does it go up to the prophet the hadith of abu daud which goes to the prophet it is a zaif hadith and all the other hadith is only reaching up to umm salma may allah be pleased with her so that is the reason they say that it is not going up to the prophet and the argument that ibn taymiyah gives is that at the time of the prophet the ladies in their home they used to wear a kameez a long gown and the feet were seen and they used to offer salah in the same kameez so based on that he says that the aura for the woman is the complete body except the face the hands up to the wrist and the feet so according to the hanafi school of thought and ibn taymiyah and ibn utaymi they say that the aura of the woman is the complete body except the face the hands up to the wrist and the feet as far as the shafi school of thought is con uh, concerned and the maliki school of thought and the humbly school of thought the aura the feet also comes in the aura that is the reason in salah you have to cover it there is a difference of opinion and i have given you the opinion of both the group of scholars but the majority of the fuqaha they are of the view that the feet comes in the aura and it should be covered during salah except for the hanafi scholars and we know that the hanafi in the world they are approximately 50% of the muslim ummah in the ahl sunnah wal jamaat they are hanafis and even according to ibn taymiyah and ibn utaymin it is not fard it's not compulsory to cover the feet for the women during salah the ruling of covering the feet for women when they're pr praying in their homes it's an issue of dispute some scholars say that it was the norm for people for women especially to pray in their homes without covering their feet and we don't have specifically an instruction to do so and Sheikh Hassan bin Taymiyyah and I think Abu Hanifa 
also as well before him, say that this is permissible. However, the vast majority of scholars acknowledge the fact that a woman must cover her body except to her face and to her hands. That is it. Which means that even her feet must be covered. And this is the most authentic opinion, whether in public or in the privacy of her home, she has to cover her feet. In public, if she adopts the opinion that obligates face covering, then she has to cover the face as well if there are non-mahram men looking. But when it comes to the feet, she has to cover them, whether in public or in private. And covering them can be through wearing socks, and it also can be by wearing an outer garment that is so long that it covers her feet while in the standing position. The sole of her feet are exempted when she performs sujood because this is something that cannot be covered uh, with a long garment. Otherwise, it would be difficult for her to stand and uh, to sit as well. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. Covering the feet for women during the salah because the more right opinion is based on a hadith narrated by Ummu Salama, may Allah be pleased with her, and it is collected by Abu Dawood in his Sunnah, that she asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam once, is it permissible for a woman to pray just in a dir'a wa khimar without izar? So what is dir'a and what is khimar and what is izar? Al khimar is what covers the head. Al izar is what covers the waist and down. And a dir is the outer garment which covers the upper part of the body. And it goes all the way down. Mm -hmm. So she said, can she just pray in the khimar and the dirah, the outer garment, without wearing the izar? He said, if it was long enough, the dirah, if it was long enough to cover the feet. Accordingly, uh, the feet, the top and the sole or the bottom are both awrah. For women, you will find Imam Abu Hanifa says the top is not aura and the bottom is aura. But how would you cover the bottom and not cover the top? So basically, Imam Shafi'i, Ahmad ibn Hanbal, and others said that for a woman must cover her feet in the salah. Only the hands and the face uh, are allowed to show them in the salah. And Allah knows best. And by the way, if you cover the feet uh, accordingly, you're supposed to cover them with thick socks or. Uh, longer uh, garment so that it will not be see-through because if the, the skin is being seen uh, from beneath the see-through socks this is not covering and it's still showing